Well, more housing could be coming to one town in Rockland County after a new developer announced plans to revitalize the former Letchworth Village property. News 12's Jonathan Gordon was at tonight's Stony Point Town Board meeting. And Jonathan, what was the reaction from the residents? Well, Ian, like most uh, new proposals, you're always going to get that mixed reaction. It's the first time people are seeing what the developer has in mind. Some people say, look, housing, it's a need, particularly for seniors, excited to see it. Others say that they have a lot of questions and they're not so sure until they get those answers. Hudson Park Group unveiled its proposal to turn part of the Letchworth Village property into roughly 500 housing units. A spine road going up the center the center town green and then a cul-de-sac here including senior living multi-family homes as well as a rec and community center the developer projects it will generate more than one million dollars in tax revenue for the town my wife and i would like to sell a house find something smaller and there's nothing really available in the whole north rockland area some residents raise concerns about the lack of retail and the desire to preserve more public green space last november stony point voters narrowly rejected a town-led plan to sell patriot hills golf course and 26 acres of the connected letchworth property to a developer for a more retail focused project. You know, he's better than the last proposal, but there's still a lot of unanswered questions. This newest proposal does not include selling the golf course, but will require some maneuvering of a few holes. The proposal would still go before the planning board and an environmental review if it moves forward. So Jonathan Letchworth's property has laid barren since the late 90s. How will the developer clean it up? Yeah, well, Ian, you saw some of those images of what the property looks like. It's certainly in disarray. Developer says it's going to be a major task. They expect it to cost about $10 million to do all that remediation work. And, of course, remember some of the uh, materials, it's toxic. You can't breathe it in. It's going to be under the very strict eye of the state environmental department when they eventually get to do that work. We'll send it back to you.